All right, you guys, so we're gonna practice our bar graphs here, and you're gonna be doing this on page 12 in your notebook. I made a mistake on page 12, but you're doing this on page 12, and then on page 13 is where you will fill out the graph for your own that you do during the independent lesson. So first, let's go ahead and take a look at this little um, table that we made over here, data table that we made over here. So I asked 20 students what their favorite color was, and they had to pick between blue, green, yellow, pink, and purple. And then this was the data that I collected on the number of students for each color. So now we're going to graph that information. The first thing we want to do is make our main title, which should be the same as our data table, table, table title, students' favorite color. So I'm just going to go ahead at the top really big, put students' favorite color. Then we want to title our x-axis. On the x-axis, you always put the independent variable. That's the variable that the scientist is in charge of. So in this case, those were the color choices that we had to choose from. I picked those colors, so that's what I was in charge of. So this is going to be color down here. And since this is a bar graph, I'm going to designate, um, I think we. I'm going to do two two spots for each color. So this will be blue, and I'm just gonna go in the same order that I have on the table, green. I'm skipping a line in between. This will be yellow, pink, and purple. Now you wanna look at your numbers that you have, um, which is gonna go on the y-axis because this is our dependent variable. This is the variable that depends on the color, right? So this is what we measure, the number of students. So I'm gonna go ahead and put over here, number of students. And the highest number we get to here is seven. I always like to go at least one above the highest number you see on the data table. So you wanna make sure you can go all the way up to eight on your Y axis. A good way to remember the Y versus X is that Y touch the sky and your Y goes up, up, up versus your X, which goes down um, or goes um, horizontal. So I'm gonna go ahead and start building here. I think I have enough room to just go up skipping two lines going up by one. So I'm gonna start here with my number one. I'm gonna skip two and go to two, which is fine, but if you do that you just have to be to scale, which means you always need to skip two in between. If you wanted to go up by two, four, six, eight, that's fine too, as long as it's always the same as you're going up. Five, six, seven and eight. So I wanted to go one above. So now I'm going to build my bars. So blue was seven. So I'm going to go up to blue. I'm going to go up this middle line and stop at seven. That's where my bar is going to end. And then you can go ahead and pull down your lines and that'll be your first bar. Green went to six. So it's just below. I like to make sure I trail up so I don't mess up here. So that'll be green. The next group was yellow two, so it's gonna be right here. Pink, three people liked the color pink, so I'm gonna find three. And then purple was also two people, so that's easy, I can just look at the yellow. And then if you have colored pencils or different colors, it's always really nice when you're doing a graph to color um, the bars to differentiate, since this was literally a graph about colors. It's very easy here to fill in our bar graphs with the colors. You could take your time and make it nice and neat if you wanted to, um, but you're just gonna fill these in. So when you're doing your independent lesson today, I want you to be thinking about this graph that you made, thinking about the title of your X and Y axis, thinking about um, what's gonna go on the X and Y axis, thinking about making your Y axis to scale and then making it look as neat as possible. So this is students' favorite color, 20 students, and that is a bar graph, you guys. So good luck on your independent assignment making your own.